Hi everyone, this is India Rocket Girl. Today, we'll see how to do a simple Yagi antenna. Earlier, I have done a similar Yagi antenna using 3D printed structures. But for the new version, I didn't use any 3D printed structures. Instead, I've used hose clamps and PVC joints. Today, I've made a new Yagi antenna with just PVC pipe, PVC connectors, hose clamps and metal measuring tape. With all the components that I've used, it just took me 15 minutes to build the antenna. It is very simple and the components used are easily available in the hardware shop. And for the setup, I've used antenna, RF cable, RTL SDR and a laptop. This is the signal received from NOAA 19 satellite using the newly made antenna. This signal is from Meteor M23 satellite using the antenna. From these, you can see that the performance of the antenna is very good. Now let us see what Yagi antenna is. This is the antenna designed by two scientists, Yagi and Nura. For the design, I have considered three element Yagi antenna. The bottom one is the reflector, the middle one is the dipole and the top element is the director. These three elements have to be made using conductors. The center boom can be a conductor or a non-conductor. In this design, I have made a center boom using CPVC pipe. The director is a single conductor. The dipole is not continuous. It is split into two halves and the RF cable is connected to the two halves of the dipole. The reflector is a single conductor. Let's see the antenna design. I have designed the antenna for 138 MHz. So, the wavelength lambda is C by F, where C is the velocity of light. Accordingly, the wavelength turns out to be 217.4 cm. There are online calculators to get these measurements. Here, all the measurements are fractions of the wavelength. Let's get to the construction of the antenna. Components required 5 meter metal measuring tape, 3 by 4 inch CPVC T, 3 by 4 inch CPVC 4 way junction 2 numbers, 3 by 4 inch CPVC pipe 4 feet in length, 1 inch hose clamp 6 numbers, a ratchet wrench to tighten the hose clamp, hacksaw blade to cut the PVC pipe. Scissors for cutting the tape. Sandpaper for removing the paint on the tape. RF cable. RTL software defined radio receiver. Nano VNA. This is optional. I've used it for measuring the antenna performance. This is Smith chart. This is also optional. The first step is to cut the PVC pipe as per the measurements. I've cut the PVC pipe into three parts. This is the top part, 14 cm. This is the middle part, 50 cm. And this is the part for holding the antenna. The next step is to cut the metal measuring tape as per the measurements. The first is the reflector, which is 1 of 7 cm. Second is one half of the dipole, which is 51.5 cm. Third, is another half of the dipole which is 51.5 cm. Fourth is the director which is 100 cm. I am writing on it for identification. I am attaching the tape to the CPVCT using hose clamps. 
Don't use screwdrivers. It will hurt you very badly. Use spanner or this wrench. This is how the joint looks after tightening the hose clamps. I have removed the paint on one edge of the dipole element for soldering the RF cable to it. This is how the dipole looks. As you can see, the RF cable is connected to the two arms of the dipole. This is the only place where RF cable will be connected. After finishing all the elements, I am joining them together. You have to be very cautious while handling the metal measuring tape. It might hurt you. The three element Yagi antenna is ready. Testing the antenna using Nano VNA. I measured the performance of the antenna using Nano VNA. I'll talk about it in the upcoming video. The same evening, there was a NOVA pass and I went out to track the satellite. There were buildings in my location but I was still able to track the satellite. These are the signals received on the next day. Yagi antenna is a directional antenna and the director and the reflector aid in increasing the gain of the antenna. I want to define polarization for this antenna. Polarization is defined as the orientation of electric field vector. This antenna can be used as transmitting antenna or as receiving antenna. To explain polarization, I am assuming the transmitting case. So if a signal is fed through the RF cable, the electric field will be parallel to the elements of the antenna. When I am placing the antenna horizontal to the ground, the antenna is horizontally polarized. And when I am placing the elements of the antenna vertical to the ground, the signals are vertically polarized. Hope you have fun building the antenna, tuning it, testing it and receiving signals from various satellites. Best regards India Rocket Girl.